Hi, this is George, and I am the Director of Education and Outreach here at Right to Life Central California. And I just wanted to share with you guys an interview I did with my coworker, Linda Talia, who is our outreach coordinator. Hopefully her story and her interview will equip you with the motivation you need to stay effective while you're out here. Linda, we've been working together for a couple months, uh, and it's been a blessing so far, but um, what brought you out to Right to Life? What brought you to this organization? Uh, well, originally I came out to have an opportunity to kind of pay it forward, just, you know, do something worthwhile and participate in something that's close to my heart. Awesome. And, and that you have done, and I've learned a lot from you during my time here. But um, when it gets tough, when, when sometimes, it's, you know, we're out here and it's not as easy as we thought it would be and or we're not seeing an immediate difference, what keeps you going? What's the driving force and what motivates you to, to, to keep on? I know that everyone has a story and I know that because I actually have a story. I have a story from, I guess, most people consider a long time ago. Um, when I was young, I was 18, 19, I had a crisis pregnancy. I was um, in college and I was just getting ready to accept a scholarship offer to go and run at, a, at college. And um, I had to make a, a decision. And I actually couldn't picture my life with a baby. And I ended up going to a pro-life organization. And um, I still couldn't visualize my life with a baby. And then I went in to talk to a counselor and she said one thing, one short sentence, and that was, just when you think all the walls are closing in, God will shine a light. Wow. And right at that time, I thought, oh, sure. That's it. The things don't work that way. Yeah. And then a minute later, I stood up and I made a decision to have a baby who is now 35, married, has two kids, and I have three other daughters who are all more successful than I am. And so knowing that, that it took one sentence, that's what drives me. When I see someone going in, I think they might feel like I did, where they can't really picture themselves yeah. at all with a baby, but maybe God is given, gonna give me the words that I need to say, that they need to hear, that gives them an opportunity to rethink. And you know, when I first got the job, I was thinking all these ideas of what I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. just in case. And then I realized that they weren't really gonna be my ideas. They were gonna be God's ideas. What God wanted you to say. Yes, through, through me as a vessel. And so even when things happen out here that are negative, I think I just have to have that, you know, just take one second, you know, one sentence, that's it. And I've actually seen it happen several times over where we've had conversations and they've been going in the wrong direction. And I take them in and I think and think of the things that I might be able to say that would apply to their lives and let them think about it. And then they do, they change their minds and we keep in touch with them. So that's what keeps me motivated. Wow. Well, I think it's amazing that, that you pray and that, that you pray that God gives you the words uh, to change their minds and to change their hearts. And um, I know it's hard out here and we, we know how hard it is because we're out here um, in, in the thick daily, but um, it's motivating uh, to see what drives you, to, to, to see you and then to know now what, what, what drives, what's the driving force behind you. And um, hopefully this would help um, some of our volunteers, some of our donors know um, that that's something maybe they could do. That, they, you oh, know, definitely. That, that more of us are called to mm -hmm. to come out and to um, make a small difference. Uh, one sentence is all to a second yeah. is what it took for you to know. It truly is. There's plenty of times when someone's coming out and I think, oh, they're not even going to listen to me. And then that's the person that turns around and I have a little bit of a chance. And it does work. It actually works. I actually feel grateful to have the opportunity to to do this. I mean, mm. how many places in life do you have an opportunity to 
to change a life and even save a life. We're very blessed to have you and, and, um, and hopefully we can continue to make a difference out here to, to be in the right place at the right time with the right words. Thank you so much for being at this training and we appreciate you and hope to see you soon on the sidewalk. God bless you.